Hello, Pollywogs. We are going to make some harosa. So, uh, due to the current times, we might not have all of the ingredients we need, so we might need to substitute some things in and out. For example, I couldn't find grape juice uh, in a size that made sense for me to buy. I am just me. So I'm gonna use apple juice and that's okay. We get what we get, we don't get upset. We just, you know, go with the flow. So step number one is to get an apple or more apples. I'm making a smaller recipe because again, just me. I'm gonna put the full recipe on the curriculum. So for now, just to make sure I don't waste anything, I'm taking one apple. I washed it. Now you're going to take a grater and you're going to peel the apple. This is a great opportunity for the polywalks to get some fine motor skills in. Uh, go ahead and, you know, with parental guidance, they can go ahead and work on peeling the apple. All right, so now that we have this lovely peeled apple, parents, it is time to cut it into smaller pieces. Uh, this is a great opportunity for polywalks to have a plastic knife and you can give them some slightly smaller pieces so they can play with it as well. Um, if you have a food processor, you can, you know, start tossing things in. Or if you have a grater, you can do that too. Uh, I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. So go ahead and slice your apple into pieces. All right, so now that we have these gorgeous uh, chopped up apples, uh, this next part is optional. If you want to put in some nuts, I tried to get some walnuts, um, but I could only get pecans. So I put them in this plastic baggie. This is gonna be also a very fun part for your polywog. Give them a spoon. Have them a little bit on whatever nut you were able to uh, bring. All right, so now that we have got uh, our walnuts or pecans or whatever in some smaller pieces, uh, you can go ahead and add that to the mixture. You know, again, let the polywogs help out. Just gonna put those in. Um, I have a little bit more. Again, these are optional. All right, and then go ahead and give your polywog a spoon and let them stir that mixture together gently. All right, so here's where the fun part comes in. It is time to flavor or season our harosa because right now it's just apples and possibly nuts. Um, so my family, we are, you know, very heavy handed with the manischewitz, another item I do not currently have. So that is okay because we are going to experiment. Uh, I definitely want to add some cinnamon, so we're going to start with that. Uh, we're going to add some cinnamon to our mix. Go ahead and let your polywog give that a stir. Polywogs gently stir so the ingredients don't go flying out of the bowl. All right, so it smells really good already. Another optional item is to put in some honey for a little bit of sweetness. I figure we might as well go ahead because... We'll see how this turns out. It's an experiment today. All right, so I'm going to mix that up. If you don't have honey, you can do some brown sugar. Not a problem. All right, so normally this is where I might add a little bit of grape juice. Um, I'm going to give it a splash of apple juice. I figure we're making it with apples. Might as well. Um, and then give that another mix. All right, and little splash of wine if you had some lying around. Manischewitz is best, but anything will do. Um, so it's starting to mix. Again, if you do this in a food processor, it's going to be, you know, a little bit more of the mortary, clay-like substance. Um, so mine's a little more chunky, um, but it already smells amazing. I cannot wait to try it. All right, my polywogs, if you have matzah, now is the time to pull it out. It is time for our harosa taste test. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to break off a little piece of challah because I'm going to matzah because I don't want to run out. Um, all right, so now I'm going to just take a little bit of my harosa and I put it on my matzah and 
I'm going to take a bite. This is something we do during the Passover Seder. All right, good news, Pollywogs. It turned out delicious. What a fun Harosid experience. I hope you have fun making your own. Bye.